Hey guys, Lewis here, and I'm back with another episode of this war of mine. Continuing on with the session, this is literally right after the end of last episode. So the night was calm, Zata has been searching for supplies, brought a lot of ammunition stuff back home, and some tobacco. Not much. Which is unfortunate. Alright, Zata, why don't you go to sleep? Alright, Pavle, you're no longer sad, that's good. You are hungry and tired, however, so we'll have you go to sleep. Hey, is Katya finally uh, better? Yeah, she is. Okay, good. I know you'd gladly eat something. I'm just glad you're not sick anymore. Alright, Bruno, uh, you're tired. Why don't you... Actually, we may need you to make some moonshine. Just in case if Franco shows up today, we need everything we can get to sell to him. Well, not sell, I mean trade. You know what I mean. Alright. Back on classical music, Bruno, why don't you go over here. We'll use that last piece of wood we have. It's 17 degrees Celsius, winter is approaching, that's for sure. Temperature has been steadily going down for a while now. Katya, why don't you go wait upstairs just in case. I know you're hungry, Bruno. Make some brun shine. How much do we have anyway? With this, we'll have three bottles. Wondering where we should go next. Well, we may have to go back to the old house or the old cottage with the old elderly couple. See what else we can take. But they didn't have that many components of wood parts. Uh, actually, no. Let's see if we can make a saw blade. Actually, no. We need ah, oh, we need two components for that. Uh, yeah. Just go to sleep. We're doing good on food still. As long as our food, as long as our traps keep bringing in the rats and stuff, we'll be good. Yeah, we're in a supply shortage. Ever since we upgraded the door, we haven't done much. Maybe I should have waited. I mean, we were doing well as it is, but I'd rather be safe. You know that the the comfort of safety is very important to me, and I don't want anything happening to my little group of survivors. And if we have to steal to keep them alive, then that's what I'm going to do. We just have to be careful with how we do it. Can't go on a complete spree of stealing from people. No bio updates from anyone. Everybody's either hungry or tired. Well, that's unfortunate. It's been a couple of days already. Don't know if Franco's going to show up. Doesn't look like he's going to. Zata, why don't you go ahead, go over here, grab that moonshine for us. Don't want to start burning books. Really hope to avoid that. Why don't you go sit in the chair for now. Right, doesn't look like anybody's showing up today. So let's take a look at our inventory, see what we can find. Components and wood. That is a definite need. Everything else is fine, so I can avoid, I can leave what, food if I need to, but I'd rather not. But let's just end the day. Fighting still continues, unfortunately. Alright, we got no choice. I'm thinking today, if the fighting doesn't end soon, we'll go to the quiet house, maybe after we check out the warehouse. I'm gonna check out the warehouse, see what we can find. Pavle, you're the fastest, so you are the one who's going to be doing the scavenging, and if need be, you ha you get to get out of there fast if you get into any sort of trouble. Zata and Bruno will guard. Katya, you can sleep. Uh, that should be good. We'll go in without anything. No, I'll bring a knife, just in case. Alright, scavenge. Oh, did I select warehouse? I hope I did. I didn't check if I selected warehouse. I really hope I did. Otherwise, this is going to be a wasted night. Oh, no. Please tell me I did. Okay, I did. They've seen some armed individuals here. I better be careful. Well, let's just find components and stuff. That's what I'm looking for. Components and wood. Ah, shotgun shells. Shouldn't be making this much noise, but... Kind of desperate for components and stuff. 
Fertilizer is not bad, but not what I'm looking for. Room's clear. Oh, it's barred. Right, let's climb up and over then. Stuff here. Oh, there's a guy right there. Canned food. That's not bad. Climb down. No. There are two guys. What are they saying? Alright, we've got the good stuff out. Okay. Should let us should last us a while. What about the next job? I wouldn't mind hitting up a humanitarian aid transport again. Don't wanna deal with these guys. They got a lot they got AKs on them. Someone wrote on the wall. We have to go find Lena. We'll be at the market every day at noon. S and D. Yeah, we'll fix them up. We'll fix them good and proper. I'll be there every day at noon when the sun is highest. Sorry, I, was, I actually have watched I Am Legend recently. Well, watched it again, I should say. Okay, now that they're gone, let's see if we can get some stuff. I'm gonna try to be sneaky about this. Need supplies. More electronic parts. Not sure what I'm going to need with that, but I'd rather have something in my inventory. Is the area clear? It's clear. Can we get upstairs? No, we can't. Go inside. Oh, we can steal from these people. I don't mind stealing from the bandits. Seriously, where are all the components and stuff? There's a distinct lack of everything. Okay, I'm gotta be careful about this. A lot of movement upstairs. It looks like he's staying still there. Went through to the other side. Oh, there's some stuff here. Quickly! Quickly, Pavle! Nothing here. That's unfortunate. Let's close the door. Go downstairs. This is really nerve-wracking, guys. More stuff here. Someone out there. We gotta be quick. Ah, oh, come on! Where are all the supplies? I don't even know if I want to unbar that. I don't want to attract any noise. Weapon parts and stuff. Do I risk it? Oh shoot! Shoot! Run to the exit! Run to the exit! I panicked, misclicked. And ended up running by accident, which is unfortunate. Oh, this is really bad. I didn't find any wood or components. I mean, I got some stuff, but not much. And I swear, if we get sad from stealing from the bandits, I'm going to be very angry about this. Pavle, do not get sad over stealing from the bandits. Alright. This is clear. Let's run to the exit. There's nothing else here for us. Too bad we can't commandeer that tank somehow. Bet we could scrap it for a lot of components. Alright, day 17. Let's hope our luck gets better soon, because this is not good. Hello, look, look at all this stuff. I wish I could bring so much every night. Alright, looks like he didn't seem to uh, be affected by that. We've been raided, unfortunately. Alright, Pavle has been searching for supplies at night. We've been attacked at night. Someone tried to rob us. They must have been more scared of us, so we managed to fend them off. Thankfully, we were all armed. None of us was wounded, and the attackers didn't steal anything. We are able to defend ourselves. This is exactly my point. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Alright, Pavle, why don't you go to sleep? He's not affected, so we can steal from the bandits freely. 
It's not stealing. We're stealing. We're basically Robin Hood at this point. Um, what else can we do? Can't burn anything. I mean, we can burn our books, but I'd rather not. Uh, shell casings. I mean, it'd be help. That'd be nice when we eventually fix up our shotgun. But I may end up just selling these because I don't really use guns that much. I mean, it's a, it's one of those things. It's a nice to have thing, but that's about it. It is food day. Let's go make some food. Hopefully Franco shows up today. We really need Franco's help. Franco, you are our savior. Oh no, we don't have any fuel. Oh, I don't want to burn four books. Okay, Franco, you have to get here today. Otherwise, we're all eating canned food. If he doesn't show up today, we are eating canned food. There's some food downstairs. Actually, Pavle should keep sleeping. Katya stays there. Zlata, you go downstairs. Bruno, since we can't cook right now, go sleep. Oh, this is the problem when you run out of components and wood. Franco, you better show up today. Alright, let's go ahead and set some more appetizers. Aha! I'm learning Oh, wait. I I thought I managed to say fertilizer, but I actually say it set appetizers. Ah, uh, that's a fail on my part. Yeah, laugh it up, guys. Laugh it up. You can, I know you're all out there judging me, laughing at me for calling fertilizer appetizers. I mean, I guess appetite. I guess fertilizer is appetizing to the rodents we're catching for food, but hey. What do we gotta do here? Yes! Franco is here. Good. Katia, open the door, please. I know you're drinking your coffee and all, but we need stuff. Franco, thank you. You're here. Alright, what do we got? We need all the wooden components you have, my friend. Let's see. Give you three bottles of moonshine. All your wood. Offer is damn impressive. It better be. Alright. Let's grab as many components as we can get. Let's see. If we were just to take that. Let's see how those that one do. No, wait. I didn't mean to press that. Come on. Don't want to waste your time. You're not wasting my time. Take as much as we can get. Nope. Weapon parts I might. If needed. But components are wood is our priority. Alright. Get another bottle. Get some more components out of him. Alright, that's too much. Go ahead and take that deal. Thank you. We'll keep trading with him. We got a lot of stuff we want to get rid of right now. Uh, get another bottle in there. Get the rest of his wood. Get the rest of his components if possible. That's not. Alright, um... I don't really need too much shell casings right now. Well, tobacco is still high, right? Nothing special, but not bad either. Oh, it's uh, it's cigarettes that we need to give him. Uh, very common stuff. Uh, well, Bruno doesn't really need to smoke right now, so we get one extra component for that. Is that worth it? Not sure. Not gonna use any shell casings anytime soon. Give him all of that. Very generous of me, I know. Take a couple components back. Man, you're not making this easy for me, Franco. Do I give him a bottle of medicine? You know what, we might give him herbal meds. There were some herbal meds at the old people's place. Offers damn impressive, it better be. I need your supplies. Alright, so hold off on that for now. We'll accept the deal in a bit. Alright. So, deal. Now we'll give you one of our herbal meds. 
for the rest of your components. Very generous of me. Uh, I think I'm doing okay on parts, but we could always do it more. We need more sugar for moonshine. More water. Won't do. So I can't have any of his water. Alright. Uh, there's so much stuff I want from him. Okay, if I give you some gunpowder. Just keep slowly upping the ante, see how much we can get away with. Okay, he'll basically give us seven water for seven gunpowder. I don't know. We can make water on our own time. Alright. Just checking some of the other offers. Nope. Doesn't look like he's willing to do that. I thought we had a bullet. Yeah, we do have bullets. Okay. We're gonna need weapon parts, I think. But that'll be another time. Deal. Alright, thank you, Franco. You had what we need. Hope snipers won't see you. I hope so either. Alright. Katia, why don't you run downstairs? Bruno, you need to get upstairs and make some food. We're gonna have Katia make fuel for us. We'll make that out of wood, of course. Unfortunately. We'll bring an axe. We'll chop down some stuff so we get wood and fuel. That's what I should have been doing. Hold your horses for now. Wait until Katya is done. Pavle is all set. He can go upstairs. Zlata is still tired, so she's sleeping it off. Katya is almost done. I know, Bruno. Give it. Give us some time here. No! Alright, let's make some food. Alright, Katya. How's Lata doing? doing Alright. Alright, Bruno. Once you're done, you have your meal, make some moonshine. Then we'll have you we'll put you to bed. How are we doing on water? Very low on water. So let's go make some shine. Oh, we need more fuel. So we do have to burn up more wood. That's it. We're taking the axe out. We're chopping some stuff up. Alright. Let's see. Katia, why don't you go ahead and have a meal? Okay, Bruno. Make some shine. Katia, you can go sit down. Zlata, you go up, eat, and then Pavle can eat. Alright, let's make some filters now, because we're going to need water very soon. Alright, Zlata, you run down there, get ready to install some filters. Pavle, you go ahead and eat. And then Bruno can sleep. Alright, Pavle, run downstairs for me, would you? And then Bruno can finally get some rest. I think he's gonna sleep tonight. He's not gonna go on guard. Alright, Zata, with you taken care of now, let's go over here and listen to the radio. All my plans keep getting delayed because we are short on wood and components and everything. I really wish that construction site would open up soon, because that place is bound to have the stuff we need. Uh, famine and disease reign over the ravaged city of Pogarin. Death takes heavy toll due with no access to food, clean water, and medical supplies. That's unfortunate. Luckily, our group is still here. Alright. Zlata, let's see what we can make now that we have components. Let's go ahead and make a saw blade. How's our axe doing? Axe is almost out of durability.
need more wood, we need fuel because I don't want to use up our wood. So the best way will be chopping things up. Alright, let's end the day. And Bruno is done sleeping. That's good. City is still cut off. So let's go to the quiet house again. We will send Pavle because he's the fastest. You will be taking the axe. Zlata, you're guarding. Bruno, you're guarding. Katya, you sleep. Yep. Alright, everything is set. Take the axe. Now we show up with an axe instead of a crowbar. The old people are going to be like, Oh no, it's an axe murderer. Uh, that's terrible though. I shouldn't joke about that. But it's a game. I have to keep reminding myself that. Alright, we can axe this up. Let's go ahead and start. Let's grab the stuff from it. Wood and fuel? Good. There's still some stuff here, so we should loot first, honestly. The old people aren't here, which has me worried. Oh, they do have water. Need water. Let's take all the sugar and water. It's over here. Don't know if we need that. Books. Good for depression. Ah. Oh. That's not good. That's never good. That's a shame. This is definitely gonna cause some depression among our group. But at this point, it can't be helped. <sighs> Alright. Make use of this at least. We leave this one behind for now. Take the wood because we need that. Keep coming back here for wood and stuff. But that's really unfortunate. We basically indirectly caused their death. Man, this session is really depressing for me. Even though I keep telling myself that. We're stealing it to survive, and that's what our goal is. We need to survive. It still makes me feel bad. Oh well. Their sacrifice enabled our survival. Here we are on day 18, and getting close to the end of this particular episode. That old man and his wife. Is it my fault? You did it for us though, Pavle. The night was calm. He's hungry, sad, and tired. Alright, Pavle, go to sleep. Alright, we caused the death of those elderly people. But if it's a choice between some stranger's life and your friends... Yeah, I think we would choose our group. And his, more of his story. It was tough, but women living in our street took great care to look beautiful. They were always clean and wore their best clothes. That was a sight, I tell you. Lining up for water, they looked as if they were waiting to visit a theater, and my boy came up with another idea. Your story is kinda nonsensical, you kinda jump all over the place, Pavle. But it's alright. We should stick together to weather the storm rather than hurt others and steal from them. We have to do it though. She's sad now, that's unfortunate. Zlata is doing alright. I feel bad about those elderly people. They died because of us. And Bruno has nothing to say on this. Alright. I know, I know. But we'll get over it. Let's grab that moonshine. Alright, Zata, you go to bed. Bruno, you go to bed. Katya is having coffee, so at least she's having coffee to deal with her sadness a bit. So that's fine. How's our water situation? Our water situation is very good now. Elderly keep... The elderly couple Pavle saw. Are we the cause of their death? We are, unfortunately. No, 
No, well, maybe. We did take a lot of their supplies. We took their medicine and stuff. But, they would have been killed by bandits. Cigarettes and tobacco are available in Pogren once more. How this exactly came about remains a mystery. Theories include smugglers, corrupt military officials, and foreign aid. Oh, foreign aid, huh? We could be getting close to the end of the war. Hopefully. But, we still need to prepare for a lot of stuff. We have that saw blade we needed. We have plenty more tools. How's our axe looking? It's alright. But we may need to make another one soon if we want to keep up on the wood supply. We can make a furnace. Or a simple heater, I should say. We can make a herbal workshop, which is important right now. Yeah, we're making that right now. Uh, we will make that herbal workshop right next to our food, actually. Or the traps, I should say. Makes sense, right? Once the others aren't tired anymore, we'll have them help Katya out. We're secure on our food supply and our medicine. We just need to keep proving on those. Those dead people probably saw what happened to them. I guess they were sick. The note did mention that the grandma, uh, grandmother was sick. Almost 10, so... Is there anybody gonna be here? I don't know. But we're gonna start converting some of these vegetables into appetizer. Uh, fertilizer! I keep saying that. Uh, but we have plenty of fertilizer for now, so pretty much this is built in preparation for our... Um, what do you call it? Vegetable garden. Somebody needs help. Alright, Katya, go take a look. Actually, no, you stay. Um, we should have someone else do it. Pavle, you go do it. I know you're going to be really tired, but... Okay, have a heart. Okay. What do you need, buddy? Must be one of our neighbors. In the meantime, Katya will make some filters. Please listen to me. Uh, I'll, I'll listen to you in a sec. I just need to make some filters. Pavle, don't walk away. From don't turn your back on me, please. <laughs> exactly. Help, my brother is wounded. You're the first person who opened the door. Thank you so much. Quickly, my brother was shot by a sniper. Please help me carry him home or he'll die. There's no time to lose. Blago, we gotta help you. Go, Pavle. I know you're gonna be tired, but you'll sleep in tomorrow. Plus, you're the fastest to help him. Look at him run off. This will counteract the sadness, at least. See, Katya's content. When life gets tough, people should stick together. I'm glad we could help our wounded neighbor. We helped that wounded man, so if we're in trouble one day, maybe someone will help us as well. And what does Bruno have to say? I'm glad we helped our wounded neighbor. If we hadn't, he'd be dead by now. That is very much true. Alright, with you two up, why don't you go and help Katya now? Bruno, we can make more moonshine with you. Go ahead and install that filter. Katya, you get the other one. It's too bad we couldn't wait just a little longer for um, Pavle to not be tired. But he'll be very tired tomorrow, so he's sleeping in. And go ahead and make some moonshine. Let's take a look at our options down there. I know we can make cigarettes and herbal meds with the herbal garden. Other than that, we are pretty good. What else can we do right now? Yeah, we can make cigarettes and homegrown tobacco. For that, we need herbs. For that, we need components. We can make roll-up cigarettes, but that also requires components, which we... We'll get to this eventually. But for now... Oh wait, I was supposed to end off the episode. <laughs> I got so absorbed into this. Alright, this is going to be a longer episode. Alright, uh... Can't make anything else right now. Do need this. To require electronic parts. And we have exactly enough for both of them. Good. So we'll make a thermal regulator. What do we need to upgrade that stove anyway?
just a lot of components and wood. Alright, so yeah, this is going to be a longer episode. It's going to be a free days, free night episode. I got so absorbed into the game. Uh, Alright, with that taken care of, let's go ahead and make... Oh, we can't. Um, well, we can make a heat lamp. Let's go ahead and make a heat lamp. Because I think we need a heat lamp for the garden. Oh no, we need a mixer. Shoot. Katya, can you stop? Stop. Should have checked that first. Okay, good. It didn't eat the resources. Alright, so we need a mixer. Not a heat lamp. Oh no! Oh no! I did make the wrong thing! Oh no, I just realized- Oh my god, you guys were probably screaming at me! I made a herbal workshop, not a herbal garden! Oh, why would you do this? <laughs> oh, I should have read. Okay, our now our plans are even set back even further because I made the wrong thing. Well, we can make cigarettes at least and herbal meds. All right, we'll hold on to the electronic parts then. I think next time we will make a simple heater because that's the closest we got right now. We need a lot for a herbal garden. All right, let's just end the day and finish this night off and then end the episode. Still a lot of fighting going, so unfortunate. Katya, you are going out tonight because you are con- actually no, you go guard. Bruno, you go guard. Zlata, you're scavenging at the quiet house, you're taking an axe. Where's our axe? There it is. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh no, I was, it was like, I was pretty sure Herbal Garden needed a heat lamp, and then I looked, it's like, wait, it's a mixer? Why is it a mixer? I was like, okay, I'll, I'll make a mixer instead, and then it hit me. It was just like, no, I made the wrong thing. Oh, I'm so bad. <laughs> it's horrible. All right, let's clear out this house, keep taking stuff. Max this up. Grab the stuff. A lot of stuff from that one. Alright, we made... This will be the piling up night. We'll grab everything, we'll pile everything up front for Zlata. And we'll chop up what we can. For now, let's just grab remaining stuff. Can we move into this house? It's a lot nicer, aside from the fact that there's some a dead elderly couple here. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> yeah. So let's scratch that idea. That's pretty horrible. Okay. Stuff still here. Wait a minute. I, I axed that up, didn't I? Is there another thing to axe up? Weird. I was pretty sure we axed that up. Maybe there's something else there. Alright, more stuff. Okay, that just took care of the notes thing. Alright, we'll take what we can. And then we'll clear it up front. Oh, I can't believe I made the wrong thing. I mean... I was gonna make it eventually, but I didn't think I made it already. Alright, let's go ahead, drop. Go back inside. Chopping into our axe breaks, and then we'll make another axe soon. Or hatchet, I should say.
Uh, I'm really dejected about this. Alright, so this session we're going to have three episodes as usual. Uh, but this is going to be the longer episode. Damn, this hatch is useless now. That's unfortunate, because that's all we can do now. Alright, let's go up front, grab what we need, and get out of here. We'll come back here if we need more wood and fuel. Alright. So, let's take this. We'll take the coffee. Might as well take the cigarettes. Take the electronic parts, the books, the fuel. Fit those, and another stack of wood. Let's get out of here. In a way, these elderly people are going to be the reason why we survive. Uh, so not only did I realize I made the wrong thing, I completely got so absorbed into the game that I forgot to end off the episode. <laughs> Alright, so that's going to be it for this episode once we get back. Alright, day 19. It's food day. Everybody's back. We've been raided, unfortunately. Someone came at night to take our stuff. Pavle returned to us after helping a wounded man. Someone tried to rob us. They must have been more scared than us. We managed to fend them off. We can defend ourselves. Yay! Alright, so... This has been a big episode for you guys. So, that's it for episode 8 of This War of Mine. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.